We're here at the Institute of Fundraising National Convention with Barry Gower of GAIN. Barry, there's been a lot of talk about how to reform gift aid to make sure it's more effective, raises more money. Um, tell us more about your views on this. Thank you, Howard. Before I go into that, I think it's worthwhile mentioning that when Gordon Brown introduced new gift aid in his budget in April 2000, the idea of raising more money wasn't the objective of gift aid, that was the effect. The objective was to raise the donations from one and a half, from a half to one and a half, which we're currently giving, of gross domestic earnings, to the one and a half to two percent that the Americans are doing. So in looking at improving gift aid, getting more money is not the objective of gift aid reform. So looking at some of the ways in which gift aid could be improved without taking too much time. Because the other issue that should be touched upon is the fact that a lot of time and effort has been spent on discussing how gift aid reform could take place. Recent discussions with the new minister Nick Hurd have resulted in the fact that the gift aid forum has had a response of not being that effective. My approach is to say why fiddle whilst Rome burns? The existing gift aid legislation and rules are quite flexible and allow a lot of creativity and use in items that are not currently being used, which could be being used. In April, in the 2008 budget, new reforms and new ideas were introduced which made things a lot easier. The de minimis rule was introduced and the correction rule was introduced, which allowed for changes and corrections to be made in a much more simpler way. So my approach is to say, use what's already there. So gift aid isn't broken and doesn't need fixing, it just needs to be applied better and more intelligently? Absolutely. I mean, everything can be improved, but taking up on what you're saying, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Use what's already there simply because it can be changed here and now, rather than waiting for legislations, debates and so on. I can see the need for urgency, but what's, what is wrong with the idea of the composite rate or all the other sort of fixes that have been suggested? Fundamentally nothing wrong with them except the one point that everybody has been uh, focusing on and that is time. With every year that goes by it's estimated that another 800 million pounds is lost. So rather than wait for new legislation to come in why not use what is there and use it properly? I can give you some examples of that. F one example is to say Instead of the fundraisers trying to implement gift aid where they don't really understand it, why not use some of the people who do understand it? Tax advisors, accountants, financial advisors, all of these people could be put to use um, uh, using and, and uh, undertaking gift aid processing instead of the fundraisers who aren't really trained to do this and let them, as it were, focus on their knitting and do their fundraising. And this isn't a new idea. It's currently being done in things like online giving and just giving and people like that. And also there is a precedent in payroll giving. Mm -hmm. The government have set up payroll giving where approved agencies are handling this. A similar structure could certainly be set up which would allow these agencies to process gift aid efficiently and collect it. And this is a total win-win situation because if agencies approved by HMRC are undertaking this function, HMRC then don't have to go around to various charities to find out and do an audit. They can go straight to source and do the audit there. Charities have the burden lifted off them where they're not concerned about whether they will pass an audit. So they can go ahead fully in the knowledge that they can undertake this gift aid processing, they can claim the gift aid and they'll get all the money back. So in effect you remove a lot of the administrative burden that's replicated in thousands of charities all doing their own gift aid processing? Absolutely and this is one of the biggest causes that I come across in my consulting work. Charities are saying it's too difficult and my response has been gift aid itself is not difficult. I accept that gift aid doing it properly is difficult and therefore what I'm suggesting is take away the difficulty retain the gift aid as it is now and let that money pour into charities and at the same time if one feels that there is need for improvement then by all means let the institutes and the associations and the representatives of the third sector lobby for that with government but at the same time let the money come in because in my mind that's what's all about fundraising is all about funding and let the money come in let the charities weather this recession and take things forward with the existing rules. Barry Gower, thank you very much. Thank you, Hal.